Life, Ken here, your thrifty apprentice, and welcome back to the studio. I um, mean, today's video is going to be a little different um, than we normally do videos. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some gifts that were sent to me, some uh, things that I ordered from Amazon, and we're also going to be taking a look at some of the things that are coming up being used in the demos as well as being reviewed on the channel. Um, Around Thanksgiving time, I received a box from Miss Diane Zimmerman here in Texas. Um, she is the owner, uh, one of the owner administrator, and one of the moderators for the Watercolor Beginner and Beyond group on Facebook. Um, and she sent me a care package a couple, uh, about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Um, when I originally started my YouTube channel, and I was really grateful for that. As a matter of fact, the core watercolor sample cards that are being used for the current channel giveaway um, was part of the first package that she sent. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, I was really grateful for that. And a few days ago, I made a post in this particular um, Facebook group where uh, I did a review on Arteza 24 count wood is watercolor pencils. And after posting that review, Ms. Diane reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in, you know, sampling, um, testing and reviewing some products that she had um, that she was gifting. And I was more than grateful. I was excited and ecstatic because I always love the, the things that she, she does. She's such a, a kind hearted person. So this is one of the little calling cards that came in a package with it. Um, and again, you'll see it's uh, watercolorbeginnersandbeyond.com is the website. That's also the name of the group on Facebook. So you guys should really go check it out. It's a wonderful place. Just please keep in mind that it is a respectful, re respectful, respectable place. So go there with nothing but um, caring and positivity and have an open mind to learn at, and even help someone else out if you possibly can. Uh, it also came with this card, which I'm pretty sure from the signature is a piece of her work that has been um, reproduced. And I think this is really nice. I'm gonna put this up for Christmas decoration. And it says, Kenyatta, thanks for your help and happy Thanksgiving, um, Diane. And I just wanna thank Ms. Diane for sending me this care package and for trusting um, me testing and eventually reviewing the products that she sent. So let's just jump right on into this so I don't make this video too long. I just want to take time to give those shots out to her and to thank her very much. So one of the first things that she sent was um, a set of Jane Davenport Peerless Watercolor Sheets. Now I have seen these advertised um, I saw them in Michael's at one point, which I don't think Michael's carry them anymore. I was really interested in how they work, but I never bought any. So I'm really excited about using these. And this was, these are what initially sparked the conversation about this particular care package. It looks like she um, just sent them in this Crayola box. But let's just take a look at what they actually are. They're actually like watercolor sheets that has the watercolor pigment on one side and then the information about the uh, color on the opposite side of the little card. And I guess this is, this is about the weight of cardstock. So I'm really excited about using and testing these. And as you guys can see, it came with a swatch sheet, but I always suggest that you swatch your watercolor, your watercolor pencils, and your marker, alcohol markers, on the paper that you typically use when you're doing projects. So that was in the box. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to swatching and using these. I'm really curious as to how they work. Um, she also sent this really neat pencil, um, which is supposed to be like a hundred leads compressed into one. It's really cool looking. It has a really cool design. The lid has a really nice kind of blunt point and it's really thick. Pencil is nice to hold, so I'm really excited. And I was playing around with it. Didn't want to tear it up, but I'm not sure. I think this is an eraser that's actually tucked inside the barrel of the pen. I'm going to go look at the description just to make sure that that's what it is. But I'm really excited about drawing with this and seeing how 
100 compressed lids work. Let's see, she also gifted me with Soho Urban Artist Watercolors. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Soho is one of the house brands for Jerry's Autorama. Um, and this is a professional artist grade, or supposed to be a professional artist grade of paint. And she sent 13 tubes, which have a pretty nice range of colors. I think I'm going to be able to make a pretty decent palette out of these um, for swatching and testing and reviewing purposes. Um, there's two yellows, a um, couple of earth tones, a convenient color with sap green, a couple of different shades of red, and then ultramarine and French ultramarine blue. So if nothing else, I do have some primary colors that I can actually uh, create a mixing set with. Uh, and I also ordered some palettes from Amazon to squeeze, the, squeeze these out and let them dry in because as you guys know, I really like working from um, dry down paint versus paint straight out of the tube. So we'll be drying those down. Um, the gift box also had this 24 count of Arteza Premium Watercolors. This is their tube set. Now, if you guys are, you know, returners to the channel, you know that I've reviewed Arteza products in the past. I've reviewed their expert line of watercolor pencils, which I love and I think are absolutely amazing. I've reviewed their 24 count of woodless watercolor pencils, which is the premium line, um, which I think for the value and what you get and the price you pay for them, they are absolutely excellent. I would definitely suggest them for... Um, someone that's just starting out in watercolor pencil artwork. And the great thing about those witness pencils is that when you, you shave them or sharpen them, you can save those shavings in uh, palettes and actually paint from those shavings because it's actually pigment. I've also reviewed their 12 set half pans, which is also part of their premium line. I'll be really honest about that. Uh, I was not the biggest fan of the half pans. So I am really hoping to enjoy testing and reviewing the tubes. Hopefully this formulation may be a little different um, from the half pans. So we'll just have to wait to see. I do love the fact that Arteza includes light, fast, transparency, and pigment numbers, um, which kind of sets it apart from other um, student grade which is what I think the premium line is. Personally, that's just me, but um, other student grade products. So I'm really excited about testing these and to see how different they are. All right, so moving right along, things that I ordered off of Amazon, I ordered three palettes and these are full pan palettes. Uh, they're from a company called My Art Tool um, and they were very reasonable. I got a one palette that is a 12, full pan set i'll just open it up and let you guys take a look at this really quickly um that's my art tool and and so it has full pans it has full pans in it and what i'm going to do is actually squeeze the soho watercolors out into the full pans um that way i can dry them down um and I also bought two 24 full pan palettes. And these are going to actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. The Soho is going to go into the one of the 24 pan palettes simply because if I like them, I'm going to be buying some other ones open stock in order to add to uh, that particular palette. This 24 count palette is for me to dry down the Arteza that she sent. So I did order these with those in mind. And this 12 full pan palette is actually for the other product that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, let me get this back in the box really quickly. We're gonna move this out of the way. And I'm gonna show you, I'm really excited about this. This is a 12 tube set of Phoenix Artist Grade watercolors. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews done on their student grade as well as their kids grade. And if I'm not mistaken, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter has a review video on their uh, half pan professional set, but I don't recall seeing any two reviews, especially for the artist line. So I decided I'd grab these and give them a whirl. They were actually a super good value. So 
do stay tuned for the testing and the reviewing of these, which will eventually be coming up as well. So that is all of the products that I ordered in or that was gifted to me. Um, and like I told you guys at the beginning of the video, I'm also going to just kind of go over really quickly the things that we're currently working with on the channel um, and that are currently being used in demos and eventually reviewed. Um, so first up, I have this 72 count set of King Arts Pro colored pencils. Um, and I've actually been using these for a little while now, grabbing them. Uh, mainly using them in mixed media work, but I am going to do a couple of solo art pieces with them so that I can definitely offer a comprehensive review. I'll show you guys the front of the tin there. And this is a part of what they call their pro line. And they have several different lines. They have a pro line, a studio line, and I do believe a classic line, which is supposed to be for the kids. But, you know, so we're giving these a world to test these out to see exactly... Um, yeah, what we think of those. So we're testing those. We are also currently testing Fantasia Artist Premium Watercolor Pencils. This is a 36 count set that I ordered off of um, Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, ooh, almost a year ago. And I'm just getting around to testing them. They are actually some pretty nice pencils so far. Um, I've already swatched them out and I'm gonna have a demo coming up really soon using these. Uh, but the pencils are really nice weight and really comfortable to hold. So I'm really excited about being able to review these for you guys eventually. And last but not least, you guys have already seen some demos go, go up on the channel that I've been using the Master's Touch Semi Morse Water Cake, Watercolor, <laughs> excuse me, uh, cake set in. Um, it's 36 count. You know, I'm kind of enjoying them. I mean, I'm not going to give too much away about them. Uh, but you guys have seen them in work. Solo as well as mixed media. I'm going to do a couple of other projects with them just to make sure that I know what I think. And then the review on these will be coming up really soon. Um, and as you guys know, I am currently in the process of trying to test all of Master's Touch water-soluble products. That way, after doing individual reviews on each one of them, I can kind of offer one big master's touch um collaboration review on all of their water soluble products and just kind of tell you what i think of the the craft line overall okay guys well that's pretty much it for this video um just wanted to share those things with you guys and once again finally once again i was sending a real big shout out to miss diane zimmerman over at um watercolor beginners and beyond and thank her so very much for sending me that gift set. If you guys saw anything in the video that you like or that you're interested in seeing used and reviewed, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Go ahead, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think, what you're interested in, what you want to see. Um, don't forget to share the video. Remember that sharing is caring and it helps to grow the channel. I could really use some more subscribers if I'm just being completely honest. Um, Go, subscribe if you haven't subscribed we want to keep you here we want to keep sharing with you guys head on over to the thrifty apprentice facebook page you can also find us on instagram like and follow us i would love for you guys to share your work so that everyone else who shares in the community can see it don't forget to head on over to watercolor beginner and beyond on facebook watercolor community group please again be very respectful and go there with respect and as i tell you guys at the end of every video just keep painting.